Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel with, with reviews on this and that. So today I'll be reviewing an interesting, I'll, this is a quick unboxing and a full review of the Renogy E-Flex 50 watt solar portable panel. So without further ado, as you can see that on the front, this says universal compatibility, it has an adjustable nylon kickstand that does provide 50 watts of highly efficient solar panel. So let's go ahead and look at the back before I go ahead and unbox it and let's this is a good size box the box is about the box is about maybe uh 20 inches by 22 inches give or take so on the back you can see that this is it and this is the this is called the renergy eflex 50 watt panel it has a built-in kickstand this is what it looks like when it's unfolded and here you have some numbers you can see that that it says to charge your smartphone it will take approximately two to four hours to charge your laptop three to six hours and to also charge your the phoenix 300 which is the renergy official brand portable power station it will take approximately eight to nine hours so this these are approximate numbers giving you an idea giving you a, a decent idea you know give or take how long it will take to charge your devices and here's some built-in features. One thing I definitely want to point out is, this is, where, is where it says optimized charging. What this means is, is, is that an intelligent chip automatically identifies connected devices and adjusts output current to offer the fastest possible charging speed. And also, uh, let's see. So yeah, so this is basically highly efficient solar cells, universal compatibility, optimized charging, and superior durability. And this solar panel seems to be very durable. I opened it for a minute. I just played with it. And here's some basic numbers before I go ahead and do the actual unboxing. You can see that the model number is R50EF. The operating temperature is 14 to 158 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. Um, minus, uh, where it says minus 10 to 70 Celsius. The dimensions folded is 19.9 inches by 16.1 point by point by point eight inches. Excuse me. The dimensions unfolded is 32 and a half by 19.9 by 0.2 inches, and then the weight is a little over five pounds. It's 5.25 pounds, which is pretty light for a 50 watt solar panel. I think so. Um, the you have the open circuit voltage at 21.6 volts. Short circuit current is running at 3.04 amps. Optimum operating voltage is 18. You have optimum operating current is 2.77 amps. DC output port, which is built in, provides uh, 19 volts running at 2.4 amps or 16 volts at 2.8 ma amps max. Uh, it does have dual two, two USB ports, USB A port 5 volts at 2.4 amps max, and the USB C port is 5 volts running at 3 amps max. And the solar panel connectors are 18 volts running at 2.77 amps max. And here's some basic information from Renogy, the barcode and whatnot. And as you can see, this has a built-in kickstand, which this feature I definitely appreciate coming from, from Renogy or any other company. This has actually a dual nylon kickstand that's built in on the back. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see what's inside the box and see what kind of accessories we also get included. All right, guys, so this panel does come packed very well with plenty of styrofoam that I had to put back in the box before it flies away honestly so here is the front of the panel if you would when it is folded and it does come with a nice sturdy I would say heavy duty rubber uh, handle that's built in on both sides and so this is the front of it and the material seems to be very well made nice and thick uh, stitched um, heavy duty like velcro type of, type of uh, material. I'm not sure what they call this material, to be honest. It's like heavy duty rubber, if you would. And then the other side of the panel, go ahead and flip this around. I wanna show you guys this built-in pouch that comes with the solar panel. And here are where the goodies are. So in here, once you unzip this, oh wow, you really get a lot of accessories here. This is very nice. Okay, let's put this aside. So where should we start? You see the charging panel, I'm sorry, the voltage regulator is right here. And let me move these aside. Let's go one by one. And let's see. We have, let's go ahead and start with this. Here you have the, the Renogy E-Flex 50 portable sol uh, solar panel model R50EF. This is a basic 
a user guide. Normally that's what most companies include with. It's showing you basic instructions and whatnot. Let's place that on the side before it flies away. And then here, let me go ahead and turn around. Actually, you can see that one, one feature I really appreciate about the solar panel is that this has a built-in MC4 cables. You can see what I'm holding here is the male and the female cables. And then the solar voltage regulator. You can see that here that it has multiple outputs. I can see that this is the DC port. I have a built-in micro USB-C. We have USB-A, which is a normal legacy uh, USB, USB uh, port. And here I believe is the power. I'm not sure what that button is for. It actually doesn't state what that is, but it's probably, um, it's probably to, to, this is probably to change from one, uh, one, I'm not sure what this does to be honest. I just opened this back. I just opened this box right now. I've barely messed with this panel. So I will leave that in the description. I'll explain to you guys what that is, or you can just look at the user manual if you guys were to buy one of these units. And then the other parts that you get, the other accessories that you get with the solar panel, wow, you really get quite a bit for the money here. Here what we have, looks like I have an extension cable running from, these are MC4 cables. I mean, one side is MC4 cables, male and female. And this goes to, to the DC, which most likely plugs into the DC port right here. And I'm sure that's gonna fit. Let's see. There you go. So I plug that in. So basically you can plug in this solar panel directly into your portable power station. And so that's one cable that connects directly to this MC4 cable that's coming directly out of the out of the solar panel itself. And then what we have here looks like we have an extension cable. This looks like a good about four or five or six feet. This is uh, I believe this fits there. This is an extension cable. It looks like it's a DC extension cable. This looks like mostly it fits one of their Renogy portable power stations most likely. This port does seem familiar. And then you also have, it looks like you have one, two, three, four, five. You have eight different pins here, guys. You have multiple pins to charge multiple other devices, to charge various devices, whether they are laptops or other devices. I'm not sure what these are for, but I'm sure these will come very handy depending on what kind of portable power station you own or what kind of laptop or what kind of digital device you are trying to charge. So this comes very handy as a lot of solar panels, they don't come with different connectors, but this one does. And this is very handy. So let's go ahead and look at the solar panel actually unfolded. All right guys, so this is what the solar panel looks like when you unfold it. This is made from very good quality material if you ask me. So when it's unfolded, it looks at, it's about, I'd say about 22 to 25 inches wide by about 20 inches long or tall, I should say. And the back of it, you can see that here I have unfolded both uh, built-in kickstands and these tend to be nice and sturdy uh, they're gonna last a while they're actually like stitched on pretty good they actually connect here to the bottom through the velcro right down here and the same thing for this kickstand right here and you can see that that I have my phone my other smartphone built uh, plugged in directly into the eflex 50 solar panel and you can see that it says charging one hour there's one hour left uh, I'm sorry it says one hour left oops let me turn the screen back on it says one hour one hour and zero minutes until fully charged so there it is guys I'm, and I'm actually plugged into the USB cable so uh, I mean USB port on the back so let me know what you guys think I'm gonna do a full walk around here so you can see the panel one more time and yes this is I believe this is a very good panel I got it for such a good deal. I actually ordered it directly from the company and I will provide the link in the description if you wanna look at the complete specs of the solar panel if you are interested. Honestly, if you're looking for a good portable solar panel, something that's not too big and bulky, this is your guy right here, just over five pounds with built-in handles and so many adapters, different adapters to charge multiple devices. I mean, it comes with eight different adapters. So if you guys enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends and family. And if you, have, if you are new to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. 
that would mean the world to me i know it doesn't cost you anything but it means a whole lot on this end and yes i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching have an awesome day